Hey, uh, so I kind of messed up uh, because I forgot to put this book in the video, so I'm just going to give it its own little segment right now. Uh, this is Hulk number two from 2008. This is the Jeff Loeb run on Hulk, and this is actually the first appearance of the Red Hulk uh, in, you know, actual story, uh, compared to issue number one, which is his first full cover appearance. And this is his second one, as you can see right there. But yeah, forgot to mention that in the video, but doing it now just because don't really feel like reshooting the whole video. But anyway, back to your regularly scheduled program. Yo, what is going on everybody? Carnage back here again, and today uh, I'm going to be bringing, you know, at you a comic book haul video. Now, I did go to two separate places along with my uh, LCS, and for those of you who do not know what that is, that is local comic book shop. So I picked up a pretty good stack of books from my local comic shop. So uh, starting off, uh, I'm going to go with this one. This is Batman number 143. Really loving this Chip Zdarsky run on Batman, especially this whole, um, like, after the first issue of the Joker year one. Let me just say, really liking this, like, arc so far. Really good story, really cool covers. Uh, I did get the cover A. I did want, uh, I think it was like cover B, which had a really cool, like, you know, Joker with a white suit, but my comic shop did not have that. So I just went with the plain cover A and really excited to see what happens in this issue because I really enjoyed the first one. And then going on to the next one, we have Red Hood, The Hill, issue number one. And I really enjoyed issue number zero, so really curious to see where this picks up, because I know issue zero took place during Joker War, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Might be wrong about that, but really excited to see what Red Hood is going to do. And then up next, a surprisingly, a series that has really surprised me, like story-wise, just because... Uh, I mostly picked this up just because I really enjoyed the variant cover to number one. Uh, and then I decided to give it a shot. And let me just say, this Sandman series, really good. I really do recommend you guys check this out. This is definitely not the main cover. This is, I want to say cover C, if I'm not mistaken. But let me just say, I really do love this one. This one's definitely my favorite out of the Sandman, you know, series so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then next up we have Spider-Gwen Smash, issue number three. And this is going to be Spider-Gwen versus the Incredible Hulk. Or at least her universe's Incredible Hulk. Who apparently in this universe is Rick Jones. And that's basically all I really know from this series. And I did technically kind of spoil it, so I do apologize for that. Uh, not so sure what this is going to entail in this book, but really excited to see what happens. And I do apologize if I'm kind of going through this kind of quickly. Uh, it is getting kind of late and I'm just uh, trying to get through this a little quicker than I normally do, so I do apologize for that. Up next we have Gang War Miles Morales, issue number seven, 16, my bad. And I've been really digging this Miles Morales series. The artwork is just phenomenal. Really do enjoy the story arc that they've had. Uh, never really read anything Miles Morales related up until this. So, well, I shouldn't say up until this. I did read Miles Morales' Clone Saga from, you know, start to finish. And let me just say, way better than the 90s one. Especially since uh, one of his clones is actually still alive. And his name is, oh, I don't remember, Shift, I think his name is, Shape, something like that. I don't quite remember. But he doesn't actually speak, he just makes like glurp noises. That's the best I can really describe it. But really cool series, I do recommend you guys check it out. <clears throat> and up next we have Superior Spider-Man by Dan Slott, and this is issue number four. Now, this is a series I've been actually very, very surprisingly pleased with, pleased with, just because, like, 
I mean, the first, like, what was it, issue zero, I think it was, or, you know, like, the little prelude up until, you know, this series, like, it was alright, but, you know, it was also kind of a little boring to me, but this series has actually surprised me quite a bit, and I did miss out on the original Superior Spider-Man run, so let me just say, really digging this so far, so I may have to go back and read, you know, the original Superior Spider-Man. And sticking with the Spider-Man theme, uh, we have issue number 43 of the Zeb Wells run on Spider-Man. And it's definitely getting a little better the longer I read it. Like, I'm still not a huge, huge fan of John Romita Jr.'s, like, art. Just because I feel like he does do the faces kind of a little too blocky, in my personal opinion, but... Uh, really enjoying the uh, storylines uh, that he's been doing, especially, you know, with uh, killing off Mary Jane and Paul's kids. That one was definitely a very good call, in my opinion. I, I know that sounds bad, but I'm very happy about it, along with loads of other people. And then up next is issue number 43 of Wolverine. And let me just say, I... I'm in love with this, like, story arc so far. It's so good, man. And it's already been one of the most bloody storylines I've read in, like, since Marvel Zombies. That's basically, like, the closest thing I can think of to this, like, series. And let me just say, I recommend you guys do check out this story arc. Uh, it's only, this is the third issue, I want to say, in the story arc. I might be wrong. Oh, yeah, part three, doy. Yeah, this takes place, like, if you want to read this story arc, it starts at issue number 40, and up until now is the current issue. I recommend you guys do check it out, because it's very, very good so far. <clears throat> and then up next we have Thunderbolts issue number three, which, truthfully, I kind of forgot about this series, just because... It comes out so far apart from each other. And let me just say, really, really good uh, first issue. And the second issue was definitely not uh, what I thought would be a good Thunderbolt story. But uh, kind of excited to see where they take this series. Just because Winter Soldier, uh, one of my favorite characters, along with, um, what's his name, uh, Red Guardian. Like, I mostly fell in love with Red Guardian after the movie. Which, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people did. But, uh, I do recommend this series. Like, it's very good, and it's only on its third issue, so get it before it's a little too late to get all of them. And then, let me just say, this is my number one series that I've been reading. Uh, this is Jed McKay's Moon Knight. And, technically, this isn't the same Moon Knight series that he was doing from 2018 this is technically like a like a different arc i guess where moon knight is dead and this guy took over and i'm not so sure if this is the exact same like if this is mark specter or if this is like some brand new character but really really cool story from start to finish from jed mckay's run uh very excited to see where it goes from here because it's the exact same artist doing the interior artwork. I believe they're doing uh, someone else for the main covers for this series, which main covers, pretty cool, but I still prefer, um, oh, I forgot his first name, but it's Capuccio. Capuccio? I really love his artwork, so I do recommend you guys check out uh, Jed McKay's Moon Knight, and also just Jed McKay's like, stories in general, just because he's a great writer. I really enjoy everything that he posts, or posts, uh, everything that he writes, I mean. All right, and up next, I have <clears throat> uh, a few pretty cool books. I'm going to be showing you guys the loose stuff first, just because, you know, uh, it needs bags and boards, and, you know, I'm going to try to do that as quickly as possible. When I go back to my comic shop job tomorrow. Anyway, uh, this is issue number 107 of What If. 
Uh, not so sure what happens on this one, but I did pick it up for the collection that I'm trying to build of What If, which is getting filled out very nicely. And I'm just kind of checking to see what happens in this. But uh, I don't even know what this is called. Like, what, what if this is... Oh, that's cool. Uh, what if Thor had never gone insane and assumed the throne of Asgard? That makes no sense to me because I never really read a Thor book before. But kind of interested about that. And the next one I have up is... One that I've truthfully been trying to find for a while. Uh, this is Bullets and Bracelets. This is an Amalgam Comics uh, thing, for those of you who did not know. So, basically, uh, this is Steve Trevor mixed with Frank Castle, I believe. And I am kind of pissed because it does have a sticker right there, but I'm going to see if I can try to take that off. But this is definitely one I needed for my Amalgam collection, just because... Big Titania. It's weird. Like, I just love these weird books, you know? It's so cool. Yeah, Trevor Castle and Diana Prince, who I know that's a mix between Wonder Woman and... I want to say Black Canary? I might be wrong about that. But, anyway, very interested to read this. Uh, and I will be definitely trying to figure out how to get that sticker off at some point. And then the next one is What If starring uh, Cyclops and Havoc. And this is What If Their Early Years... Their... Or no, wait. Uh, let me open it up real quick. Um... Oh, eh, I'm not going to try to find it. Anyway, this is uh, What If number 90 from 1996. Uh, I'm assuming this is What If Their Power is Activated Sooner. Like, you know, as soon as they landed, or something like that. And next one up is Wolverine number 136. And I only picked this up just because I really liked the cover. And also, for a book that was on the rack, like, it's like almost in perfect like, condition. Like, it's a little dirty, but I mean, other than that, like, it's nearly perfect like you know condition wise and also i'm trying to build out my wolverine collection quite a bit and this is another book i've actually been trying to find this is marvel knights inhumans number one and it is really beat up like on the corner right here like a lot of spine ticks too so but i mean i only paid a dollar for it and it's just a cover that i just really really thought was cool, and I've never really read anything Inhumans related, so I thought this would be kind of like a good start, and I mean, the artwork on the inside looks pretty decent. Um, who actually did the artwork on this? Was it Jim Lee? Did, did, uh, hold on a moment. Um, uh, I can't seem to find who did the artwork for this. Mm. Yeah, I'm not uh, seeing anything like who did the artwork. But mostly got this just because it was a dollar. And also because I really do enjoy the cover. And I may try to get this like kind of pressed out a little bit just so I can at least get get it flattened out, but a uh, very, very cool looking cover, and again, that's why I picked it up. And now going on for the ones that did have a bag and boards, whoops, and starting off we have Wolverine number 22, pick this one up just because, it, like I already have this issue in a different variant cover, but I just really enjoyed this variant cover as well. And then I'm actually starting to get it into Nightwing quite a bit. And I really want to, you know, learn as much as I can about the character. And this is actually issue number one to his current uh, series going on. So that's kind of why I picked this up. Uh, really, really uh, interested to see how this goes. Just because uh, this series is all the way up to 
I want to say like issue 115, and if you remember from my last video, I picked up issue 79 uh, from that series. So, slowly building it up a little bit. And this is issue number, and I've also been kind of getting into Batman quite a bit too. So, this is issue number 78. Fun fact, uh, the issue before this is when Alfred dies. And I thought that's what this issue was, but I was mistaken. So, kind of pissed off because I've been trying to find that specific book for a little while in the wild. So, I may have to give up and just buy it off of Amazon or, or not Amazon, eBay, I mean. But this does kind of uh, fill out my run a little bit. So, excited about that. And this one I actually picked up just because uh, I really do find the concept of you know, blue Superman, or Superman blue, I mean, interesting, just because he loses his, loses his powers, and then he gets electricity powers, just because why not, and I just thought something about that was just so weird and cool, man, and this one I picked up just because I'm a big sucker for the, um, uh, Alex Ross covers, and this is one of the ones I do not have, it is a little like dirty on the spine. I don't even know what book this is now that I think about it. I think it might be a Shang-Chi book. I might be wrong about that. Um, yeah, this is for Shang-Chi issue number two from what it looks like. And I did find a couple of the Ultimate Spider-Man books. I did find issue number two and issue number six. Uh, I do believe this might be from, what's it called, the, um, Miles Morales story? Like, just as soon as he gets his powers. Not 100% sure about this one, just because that is Peter Parker. I think, is that Peter Parker? Or is that, um, I think that's Peter Parker anyway. But I believe this might be from, you know, that storyline. But it is kind of a little uh, janky, like, on the sides, like, a lot of spine ticks and stuff, but this is stuff I'm going to be reading anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I did mostly just pick this one up just because I really fell in love with the cover. Like, it's such a cool cover, man. Like, I really love it. Like, all the, um, I think these are black swans and this is kind of like the Grim Reaper or something. But let me just say, beautiful looking cover. And this is the New Avengers issue number 31, and this is by Jonathan Hickman. And Jonathan Hickman uh, did write uh, the 2015 Secret Wars, for those of you who do not know. So, yeah, I uh, recommend you guys check out his work, because it's phenomenal. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys tonight. Uh, so I want to say thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys want me to... If there's anything you guys want me to do on this channel, just uh, leave a comment down below. Like, if you want uh, reviews on comics, uh, I'd be willing to do that. You know, try it out. But, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.